All right, folks, as you can see here, what we've got so far is this nice looking website with some functionality on the front end because the front end is where we're generating all these tweets. But in reality, in, in real life, you're going to need the back end to, to store all this data because this is just data. So let, let's see how to do that. So let's go back to the server. Remember that thing we skipped over before? Um, the thing that was like app.get well we're going to make that now and the way this works is instead of the javascript on the front end telling the front end that these are the tweets we're going to have the server tell it and the way that's done is using an api call application programming interface call and it's quite it's simpler than it sounds so you just say app.get and you say slash meows and then function um, rec res next. So this is like express. This is like how people do it. And um, when someone goes to this address, we're going to do something. We're going to send back some, uh, yeah. So let me just type this out a little bit and then I'll go over it. So. Um, var meows equals an array let's just say hi comma hello just two items in the array and let's uh, let's show it a little bit better enter so we have our array and what we can do is do res dot send meows and then since this is a function and it's good to say return you always want to return on the last line of a function return something anything it's a good way to stay in control of what's going on in your function um, so I do return actually let's leave it out for now just to demonstrate I think this will work just fine and that's it that's how you make an API so if you go to localhost, which is your server, slash meows, which was what's called the route that we just made over here, slash meows, it didn't work. Oh, it's because I have to restart the server. You know what you can do? Instead of restarting it every time you change how the server works, see here's our array that we just, if you go to slash meows, it's called a get request. That's why it's called app.get. And then, so slash meows is the same is the name of the route. And it returns this array that we're res.sending, which is response.send this array. Um, so what we can do, instead of restarting our app every time, we can do uh, um, npm install dash g, which means install globally for all of our apps, uh, nodemon. And that's a little app that will automatically restart the server every time I change something. Ignore the warning. It'll work. Don't worry. Nodemon server.js. So instead of saying node server.js, say nodemon server.js, which is just this is the app you installed. It's not a whole nother node thing. It's just a little app that runs node under the hood and just checks all your files for any changes and automatically restarts it. So if I change this to hello there, save it without having to restart the server it automatically restarted and I can just refresh the page and there you go you got your updated stuff so just a little shortcut there so now we've got our API and what we're gonna do is call it from the front end in order to do that we have to do what's called inject another angular uh, service is what it's called a scope sco dollar sign scope is a service it, a service in Angular contains some functionality that you can share across different pages, different controllers. So scope is pretty widely used because we're using it here to to display this data on the on the website. So we're going to use another one called HTTP, which lets us make a GET request to the server, which will get us those that array of of meows. So what we'll do is say dollar sign HTTP 
dot get and then put the uh, put the route that we made on the server slash meows and then what you do is dot success which is just the angular lingo for how this works function and then the response response so this is a callback function again remember the callback function before that that gets called when that server gets started this is a callback function um, that gets called when you successfully get the meows from the server why why do we need a callback we need a callback because something is taking a long time to do whenever you request something from the server it can take like a couple seconds for example but in reality it's going to take it like less than a second but um, you don't want other code to run until this is done and once this is done um, then you do stuff so let's say let's just take a look at what we get back so let's say console.log response and just another thing real quick this is called a promise another word for like HTTP is a service. Dot get is a function in that service. It does some stuff. It, it calls this this route and, and gets stuff. And it has another thing called a promise, which is basically just like kind of like a string of functions. So you can do like dot success. And a promise is a way to specify a callback essentially. So this is upon success. I think another way to do this is to just put a comma. This might also work. I don't know. I, I just do it the other way. Um, so you'll become more comfortable with this. It's a little weird looking, but, uh, all you need to know is that http.get gets the thing and then you can do stuff with it once it comes back in this callback function. So we're just going to log it. Let's see what happens. Oops. Let's save this. Oops. Save it. And let's open up our web page. In order to see the console.log, you have to open up the console here. And let's refresh it. Control R. Um, it did not show. HTTP dot get. Am I doing it right? I'm always wrong on these things. Dollar sign HTTP. You can just Google it. You'll find the documentation. HTTP dot get. Then. Let's try then. It might be the correct terminology. It might not be success. It might be then. Let's go back. Let's retry this. Nope. Oh, oh, I'm on the wrong page. I got to go to this page. I'm on the front end now. Okay, here we go. So return back a, uh, a data thing. So it's really response.data is what we want. Response.data. Take a look at that. Okay, so here's our array. So isn't that kind of cool? Like this, this web server we made is is sending back this array. So you can have this server hosted on like across the country, and I can open up my web page here and, and request that. So I don't know. That's like a breakthrough for a lot of people knowing how to uh, make it like an API. That's called an API. So what I can do now is. I can actually, I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna get rid of this. So we're not specifying the meows on the front end anymore. I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna put this over here. So I'm gonna paste it. And then I'm gonna indent it, good. Save that. So now, let's see what happens. So here's all the meows. They're coming back in an array from the server. They're gone from the front end because we, we took them out. So this meow meows is not finding any meows anymore because we took it out. We took away scope.meows. But what we're going to do this is really key right here. This is where the magic happens. Scope.meows equals response.data. So we're setting meows now from what we get back from the server. So that's really interesting, right? And then you refresh it. And there you go. That came from the server. So on my server, I can change some stuff. I could be like, I can get rid of this guy. Delete that. It's not in real time yet. I mean, you still got to refresh it. 
we could do some real time stuff later, but this website, this web page is, uh, is requesting stuff from the server and you'll see why this is really awesome later down when we start like making tweets and stuff, making meows because using this technology called Ajax, which is what this is that we just did. I can like type a tweet and hit post and it'll plop it right down here without having to refresh the entire page. So that'll get more and more complex. It's, it's basically a web app is what it's called. You're at, it's like, it's a website, but it's acting like an app because it's like doing things. So that's pretty much it. That's the real breakthrough here. Um, and you know, next video we'll, we'll make it so you start adding tweets and the server will save the tweet that you add, the meow that you add. So we'll get to that next. Enjoy.